Hi, my name is Ted Kenning with Reality Tech and Guff. This is an exclusive for Unwired TV. We are the Hi, my name is Ted Kenny with Reality Technica. I'm a producer director here, and what I do is I deal with clients as well as producing and directing 3D and live action sports and shows. Uh, Reality Technica is a company that's based on a technology, uh, both hardware and software, for good 3D images. We've been doing this over, for, for me at least, over six years, uh, starting with YouTube 3D. Reality Technica builds itself on the stereo image processor, which is an image analysis tool for producers, directors, and technical people to make sure that you have the best 3D when you're shooting your film. When I first joined the Reality Technica, one of the biggest goals was to, the, to make 3D easy to use. Uh, in the past, 3D has been very difficult, whether it be filming back in the 50s and 60s, uh, or even in the 80s when people started having a, another push for 3D. The big, the big push became when, when most cameras went to HD. HD helped 3D become what it is today. And, and what we've done to help that is, is to make sure that your camera operators, your directors, your producers still can go out just like they're normally gonna shoot their normal show and work on a 2D schedule, work with a 2D budget, and, and meet the, the criteria they want creatively. One of the hurdles we're faced with in this industry right now is the knowledge of 3D. Uh, right now, we still see a lot of bad 3D out there. And it's, it's just the overall knowledge base of how to shoot 3D, how to treat 3D, uh, as well as viewers to understand what they're watching in 3D. Is it converted? Is it live action? Um, who was the camera that, sh who was the, the director or the producer that shot it? Some producers have adapted to 3D very well and directors. There's, there's a lot of people out there that you can shoot good 3D, but you can certainly mess it up in post or vice versa. You can shoot bad 3D uh, and not fix it at all. So I think overall the industry still needs to grow. Uh, we still need to, uh, to, to educate people whether it be producers, directors, camera operators, and technicians, as well as the audience on what makes good 3D so that you can judge it for yourself. So we are currently on a push to integrate product into the Japanese market. Uh, we have been there for quite some time now. Japan is uh, building towards a full 3D infrastructure. Uh, due to the recent setbacks there, this is taking a little longer than in other areas, but uh, they are well on their way. Uh, we have a, an office in Tokyo, uh, we have uh, staff people in Tokyo that handle the uh, Japanese market and the whole Asian market. Uh, there are three or four systems currently working uh, through various companies in various formats within Japan, uh, both television and uh, cinema. So in addition to the live action stuff that we're doing, uh, Japan has really embraced 3D feature production and made it their own. Uh, they shot a feature there in 2011 called Harikiri in Kyoto. Um, all done with uh, local crews, local talent, and Reality Technica equipment. Uh, it's an impressive feature coming out later on in 2012. In addition to local Japanese uh, features, we do a lot of studio, U.S. studio tentpole movies. Uh, Prometheus, uh, Great Gatsby, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man, um, Jack the Giant Killer. These are all studio films coming out later on in 3D in 2012. One of my favorite favorite things over the past couple of years that's been in 3D and that I had uh, personal experiences with as a director and producer was working with the Black Eyed Peas. Uh, we've shot them a, a quite a few times now. I shot them in Paris, um, uh, Connecticut, New York, and, and also here in Los Angeles. Um, and by far the Los Angeles show is, is actually one of my favorite shows. Uh, we shot for two nights live. We went to a live theater, went to a theater live with the images. Uh, Will I am actually stepped next door to see himself on the big screen and love love the images. Uh, but it, this the concert experience is one of those things that just allows you to feel close to the action. Uh, and we all have meaning, you know, songs have meanings to all of us. Uh, so the fact is, 
when you go to a concert, you're going because you like the band, and here, this is the best experience you can have except being there live, is, is that you have this feeling of being there, you hear the songs that you love. One of my recent shows, which is going to be one of my favorite shows, I think, once it's out, because I've seen the footage, I can't show it to you here right now, Katy Perry in 3D.